Nothing captures the imagination like secret compartments and secret passages. But no secret compartment is complete without a secret way to open it. So today, I'm going to show you how you can make a secret candlestick switch. First, you need to decide on the kind of secret compartment that you want to have. You can find a lot of great examples on sites like Instructables. You could disguise a door to look like a bookcase, you could build furniture that rotates, or you could make a whole wall that opens up. Next, you need to figure out how your secret compartment will be opened and closed. Most secret compartments are held closed with some kind of a latch. I recommend using a simple door latch, but other latches can also work. Now you need to connect the candlestick to the latch so that you can use it to open the secret compartment. The easiest way to do this is to just replace one of the doorknobs with the candlestick. Since the spindle on a typical door is too long for the candlestick to mount flush against the wall, you'll either need to cut it shorter or replace it. For prototyping, I replaced the spindle with a quarter inch wooden dowel, but I recommend using steel for a finished product because it's much more durable. To connect the candlestick to the spindle, I made a small bracket out of sheet metal, and then I secured the bracket to the spindle with a screw and washer. Once you have your new spindle mounted to the candlestick, you can insert it through the latch and into the other doorknob. You should then be able to use the candlestick to open the latch just like a regular doorknob. You can easily mount the latch and candlestick in a standard door that's either covered up or disguised. Although you may want to mount it higher on the door to be at a more reasonable height for a candlestick. Alternatively, you can mount the latch and the candlestick in the wall next to the door and place the strike plate on the door. Since it's not always convenient to mount your candlestick on or immediately next to your secret door, you can also connect the candlestick to the latch with cables. To do this, you need some steel wire and another pair of brackets to attach the wire to the spindles. To make the brackets, just make a cutout for the spindle and drill a small hole to mount the wires. Then mount the latch and the two spindles to the wall, slide the brackets onto the spindles, connect them with the wire, and then mount on the candlestick. If all went well, you should be able to activate the latch by turning the candlestick. This should give you a few more options in where you can mount it. You can also use a candlestick to activate an electrical circuit such as a motor. All you have to do is mount an electrical switch to the wall behind the candlestick. To press the buttons, I made one more kind of bracket. This one just had a thin piece of metal that was bent down and fit in between a pair of switches. Then I ran wires from the switches to the power supply and the motor. To help avoid shorting the wires on the metal candlestick, I applied a piece of masking tape over the switches and the wires. Then I cut a small slit in the tape so that the bracket could still reach the buttons. By using two switches, I was able to make a motor turn in both directions. This setup will let you activate a wide variety of circuits. It can be something small like a car door lock motor, or it can be something large like a garage door opener. Well, there are some ways that you can make a secret candlestick switch. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.